you have your charger? Yeah, it's in the glove box. What the hell? What? What's going on? What is that? It's just my gun. It's not loaded, right? Of course it's loaded. I mean, the, the chamber's empty, but there's 10 in the magazine. Oh, relax, okay? I got a permit. I can carry. You can carry? Look, it's not gonna do us any good if it's sitting in some closet back home, right? I'm not riding in the car with that. Oh, come on. It's just a gun. Exactly. We're out in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of nice to know we can defend ourselves. Like if the Indy Native Americans attack, do you carry this to school? Every day, in my bag. It's a gun-free zone, Ethan. <laughs> Not when I'm around. You could be kicked out of school. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Or arrested. Yeah. And then someday, some lunatic is gonna start shooting up campus and you'll be thinking, wow, I really wish Ethan was here with his gun. Nobody's going to shoot up campus because that never happens. Right? No, just drop it, okay? Just tell them. Tell us what? Forget about it, okay? We're all here to have a good time, right? Ethan, tell me. Remember that shooting in Albuquerque about 10 years ago? That guy who decided to shoot up a toy store? Yeah, I was there. I was there with my little sister. There were gunshots, people screaming. I saw her fall. I saw her fall right next to me. And there was nothing I could do. I was just so terrified. I, I just knelt there beside her and, and watched my sister die. While this guy just kept shooting up the place and I kept my head down, just waiting for him to realize he hasn't shot me yet. 13 people were shot before the cops finally showed up. And then the guy killed himself. I promised myself I would never be that afraid again. As soon as I was old enough, I, I went and I bought that gun. Ken, pass me the chips.